We first told you last night about local radio host Bubba the Love Sponge under fire for some comments that he made about Haiti. So far, Bubba hasn't granted any interviews about the controversy until now. Tonight, 10 Connects anchor Melanie Brooks goes one-on-one -on -one with the shock jock in an interview where he explains why he said what he did. It's a story you'll see only on 10. And uh, I'm just the average dude out there that says it like it is. And sometimes my big mouth gets me in trouble. I don't want anybody to have died. I, I don't mean F Haiti, but I'm over turning my television on and seeing Haiti, Haiti, Haiti. There's one thing everyone can agree on when it comes to Bubba the Love Sponge. He speaks his mind and doesn't apologize for it. Until now. What would you have to say to the people out there who are upset? If I was to address the people that are upset, I would say I'm sorry for my brashness. I'm sorry that my... I probably wasn't very sensitive and very politically correct in what I said. Bubba came under fire for comments he made regarding the earthquake in Haiti. Comments that he says were simply his opinion on his show. Maybe this is actually a good thing. Here's the thing. We would all agree that Haiti is just in shambles. It's just a horrible country. It's just it's dirt. It's, it's poverty stricken. They need a cleansing. Maybe a half a million Haitians that will end up not being around tomorrow. It will, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a cleanse. Well, I think a lot more people agree with my stance on Haiti, uh, but they just don't have the nads to say it. I think a lot of people in the media agree with it as well. On that same day, Bubba wrote the following on his Twitter page. I say, blank Haiti. Why do we have to take care of everybody? Our country is in shambles. I mean, what do you think about uh, the comments that you made? How do you think people mistook them or misread them? Well, you know, my comment on Twitter, which is the one that the F Haiti was, you know, it's very, it was, you know, I was coming in on the morning one day, I was driving in, I forget what morning it was, to work. It was like uh, 4.30 in the morning, and, you know, every news station I'm listening to, it's Haiti, 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 and I just, you know, I, I just irresponsibly typed in, F Haiti. A few days later, he apologized, then went a step further, sitting down with 10 Connects, granting his only interview. I don't really. I think the average guy, the average 43-year-old dude out there right now working his butt off trying to raise his family, doesn't want to see Haiti on his TV anymore. He feels bad about the, about the loss of humanity. He probably feels as we need to do something. Uh, but we don't need to be, you know, the savior for every country around here that have controlled their own destiny somewhat. Bubba has maintained all along his intentions were honest. He says what he was trying to say was that the United States has problems of its own, and the money being spent in Haiti would be better used serving the American people. Words he says he believes in and would repeat all over again. In Tampa, Melanie Brooks, 10 Connects.